<laughs> Look, bro, I'm not gonna waste your time. It's Christmas season, therefore I must cover one Christmas game and movie. Groovy. Today's the game, and bro, we got Arkham Origins, the origins of Arkham Batman. You know, the one that will beat you purple, throw you through a wall, and run you over with the Batmobile, then utter those famous words. Now talk. So, let's start from the beginning. We open up to see Bruce walking through the cave, thirsty, watching TV, waiting for something to pop off. And of course, bro, it's Gotham. There's crime, even on Christmas Eve. I told you it was a Christmas game. The TV says, uh, Ratro, the commissioner of the police has been taken hostage by mid Batman villain, Black Mask. Whatever are we to do? That's the cue. Bruce races to suit up in the second best Arkham fit. Ooh, ooh. He clean, take a picture. Before he dips, Alfred is being a rational human being saying, Sir, you know, it's Christmas, right? Like, we could just chill out. Nah, see, Alfred, like, my parents, like, you just wouldn't even understand what I'd be going through for real. Matter of fact, have you heard of this new Mariah Carey? So Batman lands wherever this is. Like, bro, I'm not the storyteller, man. I'm not the rememberer. Just know Black Mask is running amok and we cannot have that. This guy over here is getting abused by this random thug. Bro says, oh, no, look behind you. What's that, man? I'm not falling for that. see that right there yeah bro he loves that that's his special move so let's go ahead and get the the choke counter going yeah i'm gonna let it rock for now but y'all remember this so the guy that batman just saved thinks that trying to beat the guy that just beat the guy that you couldn't beat is the smartest move to make it doesn't go his way bro is like oh my gosh bro i can't believe you're real then snitches on where black mask is i like that yeah he's so new to this the city isn't sure if batman is real bro that changes tonight batman makes his way through the facility and it's like standard stuff destroying goons and striking fear into the innocents eventually we find black mask who is not happy with the commissioner bro is ready to throw him in the execution chamber i'm watching this like oh yeah bro that's cool batman gonna save him right killer croc is in there this is about to go crazy I'm too late. Come He's not that good at saving people yet. So after that massive L, Batman chases Black Mask and his goonies outside. And bro gets into a chopper. I think, bro, I can't find him in the cutscene at all. Like, bro, where is he? Croc decides to stay, waving the chopper away. And tells Batman, eh, I smelled your scent miles away, gang. Smell of dead parents is vicious. And this is easily the goofiest fight in the whole game. Like, bro, stop picking up the gas things. I'm just gonna blow it up again. And they knew Croc's moveset was busted because the devs spawned goons into help him. And Croc gets so desperate that he tries to take a bite out of the bat, but Bruce has superhuman strength all of a sudden. Really could have used that like five seconds ago. And he's able to escape that with ease. But here's the real. Batman rushes Croc and does this light skin flip. What's wrong with him? Croc stumbles back into a gate and is now one wrong move from falling to his death. Then Batman does the unthinkable. Jumps on him and starts punching him over and over, trying to get him to snitch on Black Mask's location. But he stays two times five and tells Batman, Ooh, I can't wait to one of them assassins gets you assassins black mask put 10 mil in her head somebody's gonna collect tonight no cap and then he starts wailing on croc again mad about not getting anything out of that conversation the police try to take batman in but he's like nah i'm straight on that y'all be easy though merry christmas bruce gets back to the cave and tells alfred hey yo this giant man crocodile told me there's mad assassins on my head buckle up bro it's gonna be a long night and so they surf the internet and sure enough bro there's about eight of them well seven now and two of them only come up in side quests that i didn't do so that's five alfred makes the smart play and tells bruce hey they're looking for batman so if you stay inside they'll never find you and just go away and of course bruce is like mm -mm. but his reasoning is solid he says they'll just put innocent people in danger to draw batman out and eventually they do so yeah but, hey no complaints from me and so bro goes back outside to find black mask and stop the assassins his first lead on black mask is paying his lead on penguin is this guy that he's about to violate really bad for really no reason bro is down here making an arms deal being all holly jolly thinking crime pays well he is sorely mistaken batman jeff hardy jumps off the top rope i couldn't land the kick but hey i do make short work of everybody bro i've been here since the beginning they can't hold me so batman begins the interrogation by one arm choking this grown man go ahead and up the counter he throws bro into a chair kicks him through said chair and does this devious leap that cuts to a fade to black bro is screaming the entire time chokes him again all that before he can really start asking questions asks bro where's penguin <laughs> i don't know mistake batman then lifts him higher and chokes him till he passes out we are not done brother we awakens while being dangled 16,000 stories high what type of inhuman core strength do you need to be able to do this my arms would be shaking uncontrollably batman asks him again where penguin <laughs> Let me go, please. Fine. Ah! 
So he pulls bro back up and he's like, okay, fine, I'll tell you everything. But Batman already dug in his pocket and checked his phone for the Addy and says, um, that's okay, bro. You have a good, you have a, you have a good Merry Christmas though. And drops him into a tree, but Batman doesn't kill. Okay. And so after a bunch of tedious stuff, like, bro, I love these games, but if you are not fighting, stalking, or chasing someone down, the bulk of these games has me sleep. But, uh, we find where Penguin is hiding, a massive boat. He's hosting a whole gladiator ring with bets and everything. Batman steps in there and is culture shocked immediately. Now there's a naughty geezer. Proper naughty. It's giving regular show season 2 episode 1 but uh this is Tracy pretty irrelevant she calls out the next assassin the uh electrocutioner and bro walks down talking crazy saying I'm ecstatic to be here when I kill you I'm gonna get that money and I'm gonna buy me some jewelry so tell me Batman what's the deal bro Batman one shots him. I'm not even lying bro I'm just gonna let it play out while I talk they did a slow-mo thing and everything these assassins are doo-doo garbage. Croc got manhandled and almost killed. The two of them couldn't even fit in the story and one is spread eagle on the pavement. But how can you blame him? He took one of these heavy duty steel toed boots to the face from Batman. What a terrible fate. So Tracy tells all the other henchmen to get down there and you know what happened to them bro. They have my respect though. They have my respect. Not one of them got one shotted. 10 million for what? But hold on. I wanna, I wanna play this for you. Hello sir. You know you ain't welcome. And you know what we do to Trish boss. Now, I don't want to accent shame, but I was screaming thinking bro was casting a curse on me or something. And I know there's a height difference, but did we really have to go for the 26 nut taps here, bro? So after running up and down the boat trying to find a way to get up here, since apparently the grappler just doesn't work all of a sudden, we find Penguin. And what Batman does to this man is absolute humiliation to the utmost degree. So Penguin is torturing this random goon, but Batman throws a batarang, sending the whole room into shock. Batman grabs Penguin, throws him into a mirror, grabs him and yeets him again. The whole time, Penguin is pleading like, bro, what did I do? Black Mask, where is he? Then he flips Penguin over and socks him. Here we go again though, get the counter out. You're running out of time, bird. Start singing. Imagine in B and having the guy tower over you like this. And all of this is happening in front of Candy. Who is Candy, you ask? This is Candy. She saw everything that happened to you. I rest my case. But yeah, Penguin started talking. He's at his safe house, the big tall one in the middle of the city. You know where that is, bro, please. Not in front of Candy. But all of a sudden, Batman gets yanked back, dragged away like that scene in Spider-Man 2. He tries to grab something, but that's a negative. It's Deathstroke. The terror of the Titans is what we called him. Pretty much the only villain I remember from that show. He gets Batman up there, hangs him, and tries to thrust the blade through him. But Bruce is so cold that he counters the attack while upside down. So Batman lands in the battleground, and the two start standing off. Then Deathstroke says the worst line in the game. Ah, so it seems the game is over before it even begins. It's crickets for me. You know, I'm sorry for expecting more from a man named Deathstroke. They start going back and forth with some parries here and there. Probably the best fight in the entire series. But I haven't played City or Night <laughs> in years. I think Origins is better than City. I'm gonna let y'all take that how you will. Miss Slade realizes that he can't hang. Throws a flashbang and Jeff Hardy's back into the fray. Straight spazzing. But Batman pulls the reverse and starts a beatdown of his own. Then goes for the Superman punch, knocking Slade's helmet off. Miss Slade tries attaching a propane tank to the bat, but Bro catches that and throws it back. I'm really seeing a pattern. Here. Then Slade goes for the same spam attack. Brother, it is not for you. Batman is tired too. He takes his cane and breaks it. And then Slade takes out this like this tiny sword. Bro said, on guard. And look at the choreography, bro. It's perfect, bringing a tear to my eye. But in the end, Slade is not like that. Tries it, but Batman uppercuts, hits the throat, and knocks him into a wall. It's over, Slade. Who are you? I'm man. <laughs> Nice job, Batman, but look, the, the budget has ran out, and I gotta leave the game now. So, uh, see you in the city video, right? <laughs> now, I'm confused. Batman still needs answers from the Penguin, but apparently, we can't break through this wooden door. A master mercenary ninja assassin. Light work. Wooden door? Preposterous. So Batman makes his way to Penguin's penthouse, and holy hell, bro, these detective sections suck. I understand why they're here, but bro, I don't feel like a detective. It just—it's just like a long interactive cutscene. But that's just me personally. 
Nah, I'm right. You're wrong. Now, I really don't understand what happened here, but from what I can infer, someone broke into Black Mask's house, killed his woman, and possibly kidnapped him, which is crazy because bro was just walking around of free will like five seconds ago, even putting out bounties. Something strange is going on, and then the name comes up. The Joker. Uh-oh, bro, it's getting a little wacky. There's too many unknowns going on, so Batman needs to access the National Criminal Database, but the only way to do that is through the Gotham Police Department. But remember, bro, this is Batman Origins. Every time Batman shows up, people are stun-locked. You know, this is way before Batman could walk in the police station and dap everyone up. In fact, they outright hate him, so we gotta sneak in there and hack the mainframes. Alfred is like, oh, sir, come back to the cave and get this non-lethal weapon to protect the police. You know, keep a good rep. Nah, bro, this glue bomb thing is just here to give you access to new areas. You wanna know what Batman actually did to the police? Don't worry, like 99% of them are corrupt. But we make it to the server and Barbara is down there. Um, bad girl. Oh gosh. She's down here being a nerd about the hacking stuff. Surprised she didn't try to get a picture or anything until the guards throw a bomb in the room. But don't worry, bro, it's just smoke. <laughs> get jokes, giggles. And she covers for Batman and he's freaking daddles to the exit. On his way out, he runs into Gordon, disarms and embarrasses him in nanoseconds and tells him to stay out the way. I'm a good person, bro. I'm on your side. Gordon starts to cope. My side. Man, what you know about dime bags and tragedy. You be out there leaving criminals on life support and in full body cast. See, we the boys in blue have earned Gotham's respect. And that's on Dingle. Batman is like, Cap. Bro, it's the Gotham police. They have zero effect on the crime. In fact, they add to it. Like, riddle me this. Everywhere I go outside are the biggest and baddest criminals just chilling, waiting for Batman to show up. Penguin, Black Mask, 17 assassins. All over the rooftops are grunts, bro, just sitting there. And look at how all the police are inside. Bro, look at them. They all comfy cozy by the fire. Meanwhile, I'm outside dangling mans from rooftops. Gordon is a fraud. Watch this. Backup comes and Gordon is like, you have nowhere to run. Batman man throws a smoke bomb and moves Gordon to the side. Why? Because the police start airing the room out while one of their own men is in the direct line of fire. There's got to be some gun safety rules against this, right? But yeah, Batman makes his escape and finds the criminal database to put together what really happened with Black Mask. Basically, he sent his woman to his safe house out of caution, but she got jumped and put on a chandelier. Mask came into the apartment later, but the deviant shot bro on sight. But plot twist, it was a decoy. Bro was playing 4D chess, saw it coming. The whole time, he was hiding by the window and got the drop on the intruder, slamming him into a table. But he lost the fight. Oh, and the intruder is Joker, so... My fault. Yeah, he kept Mask alive so he could access bro's bank account and all that. But before Joker could drag Mask off, he made him shoot his girlfriend. None too crazy though, some light, some light. So Batman tracks Joker to a bank and crashes in there. Whole room is pointing guns at him right now. This was a bad move. Black Mask comes out. Hey, you think you can just blow a hole through my bank? That's gonna come with a fee. I'm looking for the Joker. I'ma get the Joker the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> That's up to you. The Joker? Never heard of him. I never laugh. You know the Joker? Y'all know the Joker? Ain't no jokes around here. What's funny, Batman? Then they bring out the real Black Mask. Rips the tape off him and bro gets to yapping and fake black mask is not liking that in the slightest man shut up all that yip yap running through my ear you tweaking bucko bro must have a jaw of steel because that beating was a homeless child ruthless there is no way bro should still be alive even kicking him while he's down remember this then we get the reveal it was Joker all along. He hired the assassins and I don't really know what his plan is. He's kind of just a chaotic villain right now. No obsession with Batman and he doesn't even have a Harley yet. Bro is really just ruining Christmas for giggles. But then he makes his escape. You'll never catch me, Batman. Batman Bruh. chokes Joker's next location out of a guard, which is a steel mill. Steel mill, steel mill, I can't say that. We get there, fight off some goons, and find a black mask hanging there like this. So Joker broke into your home, killed your girl, spent all your money on terrible assassins, beat you, and now you're like this. Nah, bro, I wouldn't let that happen to me, though. But that's just me. And it gets worse. See, remember the beating that he got from Joker? Bro should 100% be in the hospital right now, or at least passed out or something. So you know what Batman does? He doesn't aid, bro. He doesn't, like, massage his head or anything, bro. He just starts kicking bro in the chest. Where's Joker? I'm like, bro, chill out. Then they reveal the next assassin. Copperhead, slivering down the pipes and whatnot. Cut back to the Gation. Batman is tweaking, giving Peter a run for his money. He tells Mask, cool, you don't want to talk? Okay, okay. How about we set your pacemaker to 250 beats per minute? A pacemaker is the thing that helps your heartbeat. And I know he might be lying. 
but has he gone easy on anybody at this point? No. Copperhead comes in with a leg grapple throw, and I start clapping my hands like finally somebody's doing something about Captain Insano over here. Bro has been tweaking since the beginning of the game, end him. Batman tries to knock her, but she's moving like water. Oh my. Stay focused, bro. She's literally covered in dirt. And so while they're fighting, Mass sneaks out of the room. And that's the last we see of him. So, I, I mean, like, bro, he deserves a break. And so in the scuffle, Copperhead poisoned Batman. And now he's leaning. If you've seen any form of Batman media ever, you can assume what's gonna happen here. Bro starts losing it, thinking, oh, my parents this, my parents that. Alfred going, and Mr. Wayne, stop this. Go to therapy. I'm just glad we don't actually get a crime alley hallucination. It'd be real cool if we could go one game without it. So the the real meat of this section is fighting 10,000 clones of Copperhead. This must look crazy from her POV. Bro is straight swinging at the air, but she has all of this advantage and still gets boxed up. Literally. She tells Batman where the Joker is, and this next part blows. Basically, you're fighting your way to the top of this hotel. Not the worst part in the game, but it feels like it drags out for so long, bro. Like, I have a grappling hook that attaches to every building and person I shoot it at, yet doors and elevators are stopping me. But that's the magic of a video, we can skip to the good bits. So. Batman makes it to a camera where we can get live footage of the remaining assassins and Joker still pretending to be Black Mask. And I just think it's crazy that I put 10 mil out there and Batman is still alive. Thriving! Man's just ran up on me at the bank. How is that possible? There's like 18 of you. Y'all not about that money or what? Nah, nah, nah. See, we're gonna have to address this. And by we, I mean you. What say you, Static Shock? What's going on here? They call me the man with the bands in the strapper. So when I throw cash and tell you to kill the Batman, I mean kill the Batman. Matter of fact, So Joker tells everyone to go out there and assassinate harder. Bane ain't rocking with that though. He knows Batman is gonna make his way up here soon, so he stays. Joker is having a grand time. Complete opposite of me going up this damn hotel. Why is everyone biting Cole's flow? We get up there and this is where the tables turn for Batman. Bro is hiding on top of an elevator. Bane gets in there and senses him in nanoseconds. Rips the bat through the ceiling. Throws him through a wall. Another one. And then another. Then throws him through a door. Oh gosh bro, this is horrible. Somebody give him an ambulance. Joker is in there happy, finally about to get the bat but bane is like no he's mine and i'm like hey yo two men fighting over me this is getting pretty gay but joker says oh you gave me your word and taps his button i don't know what it does but it's enough to get bane to like disappear for a second socking batman one more time so joker does a little monologue then blows up a building for giggles batman is like oh no what have you done joker it was just a construction site batman but you know it's devious out there anything can happen he slams his head across the table and throws him across it and joker picks up another detonator but batman breaks it and bonks him with it just in time they let you punch Joker, but he masculates you two seconds later. Remember when I said I was clapping at Copperhead's revolution on the bat? I'm not smiling anymore. Bane is over there little broing the bat, talking, You think you're the Batman for real? Well, guess what? I'm the bad man. He lifts him up and I'm tired of this. Every time Bane is in anything, bro, they gotta bait the back breaking. And I'ma say it, bro, it's lame now. What's next for Bane? Any ideas? He throws Batman through a window. Bro lands like, damn, my name's on the box, ain't it? What's happening right now? You know, finally, it's my turn to take the controller. And you must be crazy if you think I'm about to get violent. <laughs> Then Batman gets thrown through another window. Now we're outside. Alfred's on the phone telling Bruce, Nah, I'm seeing what Bane's doing to you. You're not like that, Chief. I'm calling the police for backup. Alfred, you don't understand. My parents, Alfred. My parents. Bane comes out ready for the second round and Joker comes out to watch. This rush move that Bane does is so stupid, bro. They add goons down here too. I hate it, bro. Let us fight. And why is he homing in on me? Like, what's the point of evading, bro? Evade. Evade. And through this whole fight, bro, Bane keeps pumping roids into his body. Like, bro, stop. He does it one last time and they want me to believe leave that he slams the ground so hard that it leaves a flashbang effect okay stop it and why am i on the ground for the cutscene i was upright what the hell and so the police are here and batman is like ah, ha, ha, ha. the police are here goofy what you gonna do now hey yo sit down or get laid down y'all are all under arrest the hell is that clown doing <laughs> Oh nah, the block is hot. So Bane dips and Batman drops a tracker on him. Joker's like, hey yo, where are you going? Look at this. Y'all will do anything for a fit pick. 
disgusting. Batman goes to save him and bro has the nerve to try and pull a fast one like bro can we land safely first? Damn. They land and Joker starts to yap. Angry at Batman for saving him, straight pointing a gun in his face and everything having a hissy fit. Bro was ready to meet the reaper. Batman is still facing the entire time thinking no one gets that I'm a superhero. Saving is literally the one job I have. I should just leave Gotham with that weird cat lady like the movie. But then the police show up and take Joker. Yeah they tried Batman but failed again. The police haul off Joker and start asking him where Batman went and he's like well how should I know. Um, he's your partner. Who else would save you? And right here is where Joker's obsession with the Batman began. Then we get two damn dream sequences. One with Joker rising up Harley, telling his uh, origin story, lying like he has hands like this. Bro, stop. That's not you. Then we see Bruce trip about his parents again. Like, bro, it was 20 years ago. Let it go. But uh, the game is almost over, and I don't really care about the next part and a half. Bruce and Alfred have an argument about Bruce being Batman instead of getting real help and like moving out of Gotham, living a normal life, and all that. I'm getting tired of it though. I've heard this conversation like a million times before and the next boss is firefly but his mission is like 60 percent filler all they have you do is running around a bridge deactivating bombs with this stupid cryptocurrency puzzle thing and who the hell is firefly anyway so joker started a prison riot the guards are um getting killed there's hostages and some more stuff going on a lot of stuff going on actually you violently beat your way to the main room where joker hatches this devious cage fight bro strapped himself to a chair gave bane a heart monitor and says either you kill him and save me from this electric chair or he kills you the choice is yours, Batman. Of course, Batman is like, nah, bro, I'm not killing nobody. That's in my code. Bane is like, that's cool, but you gonna fight today, and you 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 gonna squabble. Bane attaches that heart monitor and hops down. I already know his move set though. Stun, beat down, dodge, rinse, wash, repeat. How? 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 And then Batman gets right up after this. It, it had no effect. Why? But yeah, Bruce is under the boot, praying for a pinch of oxygen to come his way. Gordon appears and shoots two of Joker's guards. Batman is throwing those pitiful punches, bro. You're not leaving. Get comfy. Gordon goes to get the Joker out of the chair, but they want me to believe that he countered disarms two trained police officers with the speed of Barry Allen off two Red Bulls in a line of X. Get out of here. Batman gets an idea of how he can turn the tides and hits Bane with his shocker gloves. He gets away and starts charging him up like a battery. Bane can't do anything back. He is struggling. All that ooze just to pull up and lose. Batman keeps shocking bro like Home Alone. Doesn't stop until he flatlines. No 2077. Joker is up there hitting the Fortnite victory dance. Batman is like it's over bro. Put the gun down and fight. And then this random starts talking like yeah put the gun down and get knocked out like your daddy used to and that's how gordon died i wish he's got a vest and joker scurries away batman asks them to chase joker which he shouldn't have to do your police officers go get on that but gordon is being a hoe like ooh, didn't you just kill kill bane blah 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 then batman has to explain making them look stupid telling them how bane is just napping right now so they chase joker and batman revives bane no thank you no respect just choking added up you've given me no choice bat i could just snap your neck right here and win but no i'm gonna turn this ooze up and turn into a horrendous monster that gives the player an unexpected horror scene that will induce nightmares bro what are you talking about so bane turns himself into an off-brand hulk now how he didn't accidentally put too much pressure on the batman during this horrifying transformation is unbelievable but oh Nah. They fall to the ground and we are thrust into a horror show. Alfred is on the line saying you got 10 minutes before he turns invincible and one shots us and there is no timer. I remember my first time playing this. I was scared as hell. It was 3 in the morning too. The music, Bane's lines, and how he looks through the vents. Bro, this is not it. But once you get past the fear, it's just another rule of three. Just like slam his head through the walls and all that. And yes, bro, if you don't beat him in 10 minutes, he will become invincible. But once Bane is down, Batman thinks he's done. No. Bane grab throws him into the wall, delivers two small ones, and beams back Batman through the wall again. Bro, they need to stop it. He is human, is he not? But uh, Bruce ties him to two generators that fry his brain cells, literally. I don't know what the point of hanging him upside down was, honestly. Like, bro, this isn't the blood flow just like his head's gonna pop. Batman finds Gordon and Gordon points him to the Joker's direction. Bro is laying on the ground in the chapel, ready to deliver a dumb generic villain speech. I bet 10 million how he's gonna mention that we're the same. <laughs> all this, all this rage, all directed at me, and for what? Oh, if you'd actually let me finish a sentence, you might learn something! You might learn that we're not so... <laughs> I'm not trying to hear that gang. I'm not. Batman throws Joker to a window. Joker picks up some glass like that's gonna do something. Bro gets disarmed in seconds and go ahead and put another one. Batman then gives him the most violent beatdown in the entire series. Hits him with a... Alright, let's get some Tekken 7 in there. Alright, now get goofy. 
launches him on this table thing. Your parents are dead, Bruce. This won't bring them back. Joker is still here with that evil yap. Bro, enough. Oh my gosh, add one more. Yeah, bro, Joker has lost it at this point. Bro is literally seeing Nightmare Batman. And finally, Batman knocks him out, ending the night. Gordon then comes out of the woodwork to annoy me one last time, saying, you know I gotta turn you in, right? Batman just zips away again. Then in the outro, he has the nerve to say, why didn't I turn him in? You had no choice. You couldn't catch him, you imbecile. But hey, bro, Merry Christmas. I'm gonna try and get another video out for Christmas Eve or maybe the day of. So uh, yeah, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up out of here.